Once Steve Hawking said that the artificial intelligence may be the worst or the best thing that ever happened to humankind, I'm kind of optimistic. I feel that artificial intelligence is the best thing to have to humankind. For sure, we have a long way to go and you have to be sure that the, its place in society should be respected. Artificial intelligence will not be treated as bad, neither as good. It's just a kind of like atomic bomb. You can use the nuclear fission to make a medical equipment, you can use it to make war. It depends how you use it. I do believe that artificial intelligence may be here to help us, to support us. Artificial intelligence may be the next revolution, like machine was in the industrial revolution, very important. Artificial intelligence may be our next revolution. Nowadays, artificial intelligence is able to do a considerable amount of work. It has its own limitation, its own scientific limitation, but since it was first uh, created about uh, 15 years ago, uh, it evolved a lot. We now have deep learning, all this kind of technique that can be quite useful. Previously, on, a, on the previous lives, you were able to talk about uh, how Robocop can show us that artificial intelligence was evolved, how the difference between the first version of the move was important to understand how artificial intelligence changed. We also talked about Matrix, how Matrix is still not real and how Matrix is still a long way to go. But for sure, uh, this kind of uh, limitation, this kind of uh, difficulties that you have, it's just a way to show that artificial intelligence has a long way to go, but not necessarily that artificial intelligence is limited. It's because the type of, uh, of intelligence that artificial intelligence is able to, to, to give us is not necessarily the human kind, it's not necessarily the way that we expect artificial intelligence to be. Artificial intelligence has its own way to work, and its own way is much more superior than human, such as it's very good to do very repetitive and very uh, calculation like work. So uh, I do believe that, he, like Kasparov said in his book, after he was defeated by Deep Blue, uh, we need to work together with artificial intelligence. It's not a matter of competition, it's a matter of working together, it's a matter of sharing the work. So any kind of repetitive work may be replaced by artificial intelligence in the future. So artificial intelligence is here to help humankind. Uh, unless we decide to make the stupid move of competing with artificial intelligence, as I, as I, as I heard once, uh, do not stay in the way of artificial intelligence, do not stand in the way of artificial intelligence. Make sure that you work together, that you collaborate. Artificial intelligence has a huge, a huge, a huge amount of potential. It can help us to unlock our full potential of our creativity. It can help us to build a future that we, where human can really use his, his uh, highest amount of creativity. Uh, it goes to music, it goes to engineering, it goes to computer science. So we already see this kind of work. For example, I can do a live right now anywhere using artificial intelligence to make sure that the noise, the background noise of my life will not uh, make people uh, have any kind of discomfort. Uh, we can like segment the image, you can create like a, a background or, or any kind of a image. Uh, you can separate tumor from the, from the, from the healthy tissue on, on biomedical application. So the applications are, are endless. So I do believe that artificial intelligence is here to stay. I do believe that artificial intelligence is here to help humankind. But I know that if you do not pay attention to how it goes, you do not make sure that it goes in the right way, you may have a big problem. And the, the, coming back to Steve Hawking, the second fear that artificial intelligence may be the worst that happens to humankind may happen. We already have some kind of concept that China is building a, a, a prison based on artificial intelligence. But you have, we also have other very awesome examples, such as a lot of studies all over the world so show how biomedical problems can be solved using artificial intelligence. So I'm very optimistic. On this live, we are going to talk about uh, the exponential growth of artificial intelligence. Always keep in mind that this, uh, the, uh, this is part of a book that I'm writing, so your feedback is quite important. So enjoy the show.